Hare Krishna, dear devotees. Now, Archana Mataji is going to play a drama on the life of Namachara Srila Haridas Thakur. Thank you. In Kali Yuga, the age of quarrel and hypocrisy, various religions call the same God with their different names, with the sectarian tendency of asserting that only one group has all the answers, the very means of purifying the false ego, the universal process of chanting the holy names of Lord becomes confused with sectarian sentiments and thus neglected by otherwise very sincere seekers. Many good and honest people turn away from religion finding more integrity, morality, sanity, kindness and love in materialistic society. Seeing the world in such an unfortunate condition, the Supreme Healer, Lord Shri Krishna, sent Haridas Thakur, his perfect and empowered representative to this earthly realm, to set an impeccable example of integrity in holy life. All the words thoughts and actions of Haridas Thakur flowed in complete dedication to practicing and preaching the topmost universal process of self-realization in this age, the process of chanting the holy names of Lord. Srila Sanatan Goswami would glorify Haridas Thakur saying that you chant the names of Lord Hari 300,000 times daily and also educate others about the importance of such chanting. There are many in this world who behave very well but do not preach the cult of Krishna consciousness. And there are others who preach but do not behave properly. But you, Haridas, you are performing both these duties simultaneously in relation to the chanting of holy names by your personal behavior and character and also through your preaching. Therefore, you are the most advanced devotee in this world and you are the spiritual master of entire world. Srila Haridas Thakur was born about 35 years before the advent of Lord Chaitanya. He born in a village called Budan in East Bengal. Although born in a Muslim family, but Haridas possessed an inexplicable aptitude for chanting the holy names of Lord Hari. Harinam was his soul life blood. Due to presence of Haridas Thakur, many people became purified and took to the chanting of holy names. After living there for few years, Haridas left his village and traveled. During his journey, he delivered many people by giving them the treasure of holy name. He delivered a prostitute who was appointed by a local Muslim administrator to defame him. Also, the Lord's illusory potency, Maya Devi herself, tried to test Haridas Thakur, but she could not divert his mind from chanting the holy names of Lord. In fact, she herself asked for an initiation from this great Vaishnava. The transcendental glories and qualities of Haridas Thakur are innumerable and unfathomable. It is impossible to describe all the qualities of Haridas Thakur. But one may attempt to just say something about the qualities of Haridas Thakur to purify oneself. Today, we will attempt to enact a pastime on life of Namacharya Haridas Thakur, which exhibits his indomitable faith and complete dedication to the process of chanting the holy names of Lord. I offer my humble obeisances and sincerely seek the blessings of assembled Vaishnavas to be able to perform this act for the pleasure of Lord Chaitanya. Haridas Thakur had no material attraction. The holy names of Lord Krishna continuously vibrated on his tongue. People would just gather around him just to see the unrestricted flow of tears of love of God profusely flowing from eyes of Haridas Thakur, drenching his entire body. All the people 
including the strictest atheist and ritualistic brahmanas took this great scent in high regards seeing the increasing popularity of haridas thakur the local muslim authority called as kazi became very envious and reported to the nawab the nawab ordered to arrest haridas thakur but in prison also haridas thakur delivered the prisoners by giving them the treasure of holy names and then he was presented before the nawab although a muslim this man is acting like a hindu you must punish him properly what sort of mentality has overcome you haridas knowing to have good fortune of being born in a high muslim family why are you acting like a hindu we do not even accept the rice touched by hindus yet ignoring your high birth you want to become a hindu dejecting one's own land race and religion for another is perverted how can you expect to be on a liberated platform if you will behave like this therefore i have decided to punish you according to mandates of quran so that you will be freed from all your sins respected sir there is only one god for all men the only difference between a muslim god and a hindu god is of name only that omnipotent lord controls everything and all the living entities act and work according to his desires one is forced to act helplessly in degrading ways because of his own innate propensities and then he enjoys or suffers the results of his own activities what could be achieved by punishing a man for his own nature respected sir please consider these points and if you still find me guilty then certainly punish me you must punish this man this man is evil and mischievous others will fall under his influence and will become equally sinful he will be in dis- disgrace to our muslim religion and community therefore you must punish him appropriately if he wants to be excused from the punishment then let him speak from his own scriptures oh haridas just speak from your own scripture and accept the path then you will have nothing to fear otherwise the kazi will force me to punish you they will scorn and insult you why should you let that happen whatever the supreme lord desires is destined to happen no one can check it each one of us suffers according to the degree of our previous offenses or sins you are just an instrument of lord's desires even if my body is cut into pieces and i lose my life i cannot give up the chanting of holy names of lord hmm so kazi ji what is your decision about this man beat him in 22 market places i find no other judgment appropriate if despite of punishment this man lives then i will conclude that our big scholar had spoken the truth lash him until he breathes his last the sin a muslim incurs by becoming a hindu is punishable only by death Haridas was dragged away by the sentries from one marketplace to another beating him mercilessly but Haridas was a pure soul 
completely surrendered to the Supreme Lord. He faithfully chanted the Lord's holy names. He was so absorbed in the fervent chanting of the holy names that he did not feel any pain. Good-hearted and pious people could not bear to see the torture inflicted on such an innocent person. They pleaded to the sentries to stop beating Haridas so quickly, but nothing could stop an insensitive saint. He was determined to see the time and means of the original time. Yet, despite all their beating, Haridas showed no signs of distress as he was absorbed in remembering the holy names of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Oh Lord, please, please be merciful upon these poor souls that they may not be punished because of me. How can a human being survive such a brutal beating? We have lashed him mercilessly through 22 marketplaces, but he doesn't even show any signs of pain. What to speak of death? And moreover, he is praying for our good. He is a saintly person. Oh Haridas, we will certainly be punished because of you. If the Kazi says, that despite of so much beating, beating you are still alive, he will kill us instead. Oh, no. If my survival brings such a terrible misfortune unto you, I shall give up my life right now. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Allah, He is a fakir, He is a saintly person. Let's, let's take him to the Nawab. <clears throat> hmm. Go and bury him now. No! If he is buried, then he will gain entrance into heavens. Despite of his high Muslim birth, he has behaved like a low Hindu. Therefore, he must be thrown into Ganges to suffer eternally like other lost Hindus. The sentries carried the body of Haridas Thakur to the Ganges while Haridas remained in his deathly trance meditating upon the Supreme Lord. The spirit of Lord Krishna had descended into the body of Haridas Thakur and he had become so heavy that it was impossible to move him. The Supreme Lord Govinda was directly protecting Haridas Thakur. So who could harm him? Haridas floated downstream on the currents of Ganges for some time. And after some time he regained his consciousness, loudly chanting the holy names. All the Muslims present there immediately offered him obeisances and worshipped him like a saintly person. The Nawab also begged for forgiveness for his offences. Their hearts were completely transformed by the strength of holy names. In this way, distributing the pure holy names and performing heart-moving pastimes, Haridas continued on his journey, establishing the supreme importance of chanting the holy names in this age of Kali. Although during his lifetime, Haridas was tortured and provoked by many people, many ignorant people, but he did not give up the principle of humility while distributing the message of Lord Chaitanya. He considered all other Vaishnavas to be more sincere and worthier than him for the, for the service of Krishna. And he considered himself to be a low-born, untouchable 
and therefore he did not even enter the temple of Lord Jagannath in Puri. Although Lord Chaitanya considered him to be better than a Brahmana or a Sannyasi, but respecting the social norms, he instructed Haridas Thakur to stay near his residence and just offer obeisances to the chakra present at the top of the temple. But he was so dear to the Lord that Lord personally took care of his daily prasadam and he himself went to regularly visit Haridas Thakur. <sighs> Haridas Thakur's life was a living example of a humble Vaishnava situated in love of Godhead without any tinge of false ego. But Haridas never confused humility with shyness or false humility. He was always bold in chanting and encouraging others to take it up. In Lord Sankirtan pastimes, empowered by Lord's instructions, Haridas Thakur along with Nityananda Prabhu went door to door and begged the people to chant the holy names of Lord. In Sankirtan pastimes of the Lord, Haridas sang boldly and danced enthusiastically demonstrating his great enthusiasm and confidence for the service of Lord. In this way, Haridas performed many pastimes with the Lord and served all Vaishnavas including Rupa Goswami and Sanatan Goswami. One day, he expressed his final desire to the Lord. Oh Lord, please hear my heart's real plea. I have had this desire for a very long time. I think very soon, my Lord, you are going to bring to a close your pastimes in this material world. I do not wish to see the closing chapters of your pastimes. Before that time comes, let this body fall in your presence. I will place your lotus feet upon my heart and see your moon-like face. With my tongue, I will chant your holy names, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. That is my desire. You are very merciful, my Lord. You can make possible this perfection of all my desires. O oh, Haridas, Krishna is so merciful that he must execute whatever you desire. But, but my happiness is due to your presence only. It is not fitting to you to just go away like that, leaving me aside. Oh Lord, please do not create illusion, please. Although I am very fallen, but you must show this mercy to me. There are many great personalities, great devotees who are fit to sit on my head. They are very helpful in your pastimes, my Lord. You are, you are very merciful. If if an insect like me dies, there will be no loss. You are so merciful to your devotees, my Lord. Although I am an imitation devotee, but, but you must fulfill my desire. That is my expectation. Haridas, I have to perform my noon duties. I will, I will see you tomorrow. Haridas, whatever mercy you can bestow upon me, my Lord, 
all glories to you haridas all glories to you you purified the whole world by your incessant hari naam sankirtan through your life you exemplified the practicing and preaching of topmost universal process of self realization in this age the process of chanting the holy names lord chaitanya began to glorify haridas thakur enumerating his divine qualities as though he possessed five mouths as he was glorifying haridas thakur he was becoming increasingly happy when the associates of lord chaitanya heard the glories of this exalted vaishnava they immediately fell down at the lotus feet of haridas thakur and offered him obeisances <sighs> oh lord let me let me take the lotus let me take the dust of lotus feet of your servants my lord please please sit before me let me place your lotus feet upon my heart and see your beautiful face shri krishna chaitanya shri krishna chaitanya shri krishna chaitanya when he wanted to leave this material world it was not within my power to detain him he could give up his life any time as he wished and go away just like vishnu haridas thakur was the crown jewel on the head of this world now this world is bereft of its valuable jewel chant loudly all glories to haridas thakur all glories to haridas thakur who revealed the secret of holy name to this world now chant hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna krishna